how do mental health mondays I'm going to start doing lives monday nights um mental health's a massive thing I talk about it all the time everyone who comes on the channel uh you know i've had my own battles yeah so let's talk about the last 12 months all, all last year uh up to maybe june not in the best place uh struggling with sleep which is terrible uh a lot of you know that sounds like our simon's on his way yeah he's here listen kid i come every time i come to do a vlog you're here you little bugger oh i could eat him he's lovely so um yeah last year went good to start back in the gym june so i thought june to this june coming and this June, I'm going to give you an update. I thought 12 months, let's smash it, get in the gym, get healthier, plenty of sunshine, uh, eat better, lose weight, my health. It's not planned out like that, but I'm still in it. Um, the title, am I fucked in the head? Probably a little bit. Are you making it worse? By that, I mean, by that, I mean, you, <laughs> by that, I mean, you people I deal with, uh, talk to, you people have your own problems. Uh, you're not making it any worse, you're helping me. I get stronger, me, more resilient. Uh, I'm going from strength to strength. Yeah, sleep's still poor, but I'll work on it. The more I go to the gym, the better it'll be. October was really good. November, December, I was ill. Uh, viral thing going round, uh, ear infection, kidney infection, throat infection, coughing like the worst cold ever uh not covid uh two months of it it knocked me back knocked me back in the gym i didn't go to the gym i didn't go out with steve vlogging i didn't do nothing i'm back from that now uh i might look a little tired that's because i've started a new job that i'm loving um the job allows me plenty of family time which is important i've got two people here i love very much that i need to look after we've got a whole host of animals you know like Little Simon there, yeah. Got one of them on my chest, one of them on my knees. Steve next to me on the settee. They are therapy. Dealing with people, interviewing people, speaking to people is therapy. Yeah, being busy is therapy. Um, <laughs> in the past, right, you know, uh, I have been one of them people who is quite outspoken. That in itself brings its own problems. In the prison service, uh, a small shall we say small percentage of people who thought my first book was shite or whatever and see fit to leave amazing comments said you know there's a lot of conflict in this have you ever thought that it's you well yeah it was me in the prison service do you know why because i am my own man yeah and if somebody tells me to do something i don't agree with or if someone's behaving in a way I don't agree with, or if somebody's winding somebody up, you know, then I'm going to say something. I've never been able to keep my gob shut. Got myself in trouble all my life by opening my mouth. And also speaking the truth, because a lot of people don't like the truth, do they? Eh? So, yeah, this year, um, I feel really good. Uh, it's going to get busier. Plenty of people to interview. Uh, the the channel itself for me, it's it's more than ever thought it'd be. It's helping people. It's helping me. It's helping people. Lots of people. I've met loads of people. They'd never be on the channel, but through the channel, uh, a lot of you in the comments. I don't always have chance to reply to all the comments at night. I tend to read them when a video goes up. I know a lot of you. Zoo Scott, Big King Bacon, our lovely Canadian friends, American friends, you know, Benice, Grandma in Canada. I know you all, I recognise you. Lucy, uh, the couple in Swansea have come back to me. Loopy Lou and her partner, yeah. I recognise people, people who comment regular, and they're always positive. You know, not everyone agrees with everything I have to say, that's fine. That's what we're about, isn't it? But dealing with you, 
uh, interviewing new people, speaking to new people. The after service, if you like, you know, once we've met and we've done an interview, you know, you're not gone out of my life. If, 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 you, if you're moving on, that's great. There is people the last two years who've come into my life. I've sort of helped steer them through a bad patch. And I'm going to say that because I have, you know, just been a text message or a voice message on WhatsApp for people or replying to them when they're down, it helps. And it helps me as well. So, yeah, I am a bit fucked in head. Uh, you're not making it worse, none of you. Um, but, you know, channel content quite often is going to be grim. You know, prison is a negative place. There's not a lot good going on in prisons at the minute or with the criminal justice system, probation, or anybody. Crime's going up in this country. It's going to go up. Um, they're building more prisons. They're not going to have enough spaces. They're not going to be able to staff them. Police force is weak and pathetic. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be grim. I'm interviewing a young lady on Thursday in Sheffield, Victoria. She's not well. Got COPD. Yeah, she is an addict. She's a working girl. Now, as we speak, she started her own channel. I'm going to try and help her. I'm going to push the channel. You know, j just do my bit. I've watched some of her videos and you can see the sadness in her eyes. I have no idea of a backstory at all. But she's just young. You know, she's just 40, 41, 42. She's not well. And she's struggling. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Mental Health Monday is going to do lives. I'm in a good place. I feel my resilience is getting stronger. Um, you know, there's lots of things I want to do uh, in life. And, you know, you, you've got to be in it to win it. People hate that, but you have. You've got to be in it to win it. In June, I will put a 12-month uh, a video. I've done some little clips on my journey, gym, health, fitness, and all that. It's like a fucking roller coaster with a lot of dips and downs. The up, you know, I'm getting stronger, enjoying it. That's where I'm at the minute. I'm back in the gym now, uh, and I'm enjoying it. Sleep's still shocking. I've tried plenty of things, but it don't worry me. I'll get there with that. Um, PTSD. I'll talk about PTSD on a live. Uh, what 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 it was to me. What what my how my thought process works now. Because you know, it's a shocking thing. The thought process when you want to go to sleep. You know, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. Uh, thanks for your continued support. I hope this makes sense. Lives coming Monday. I will put a vlog up with Stephen Wednesday. Interview Friday and hopefully some long content Sunday too. That's my plan. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. Keep it consistent. Put it out at 6pm. Uh, I want to get on Spotify and the like. I know where I want to go back to. I was doing that at one bit. I'm going to be doing that again. So you can listen to the vlogs and podcasts in the car. And lots of other ideas. But you know what? I'm a patient man. The next six months, I'm going to gradually roll everything out. All right. Uh, cheers. Thanks for coming. I'll see you.